Hey guys, Mr. Jeff's back. I want to follow up on some of that grow tent info we were talking about before. So I brought my friend and brother from another mother, Will Houts, with me to show off the grow setup he's got. Check this out. All right, go right ahead, Will. He's going to walk us through what we've got going on. Okay. You guys are in luck because we have some fruits in here too. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Check these out. Hey, I'll be really quick. I want to show them the coral tooth fungus. I found this out in the woods locally. Will cloned it. And this is what we got going on. Beautiful. And then we got these blue oysters. It's like a whole cult of them. We got these genetics from a friend over in Blairsville. Go check out Oak Haven Mushrooms. Anyway, back at you, Will. So can you kind of break down the setup we've got in here? Yeah. Uh, first, the, the LED light. I went with a, a LED light that can be in a wet environment like this. It is now for mushrooms. The best lighting is between 6,000 and 7,000 K. Uh, that's on the blue spectrum. Gotcha. And so that's <clears throat> about, this one is 6,500. And then, and I have this on a timer. How often do you have the light on? Uh, 12, 12. 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Gotcha. And and it's my understanding, our understanding, that the mushrooms do not photosynthesize. They don't need the light for food production. They need the light for other processes, for, for triggering of fruiting and growing. So anyway, on to the next. And here's my AC Infinity oscillating fan. That thing is badass. They have multiple sizes still. AC yeah, Infinity. Yeah. Now, AC Infinity is a little bit more pricey, but uh, they back it up with high value, and uh, they're made well, very well, Definitely. very reliable. So they're worth the extra money. I've gone with cheaper fans uh, just to save some money, and it was not worth it because they broke within about a year. Okay. Show us the backside of this fan and what it's got going on real quick. Now I'm going to stop it oscillating. Okay. And as you can see right here, you can change the speed by, and each time you press this, it lights up. So it's at its max speed right now. Man, AC Infinity better pay you for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. And I usually keep it at, lately I've been keeping it at around three. Three lights on. Cool. And right down here you can link it to the AC Infinity controller as well. They have okay. multiple controllers that you can link multiple devices to it as well. As you can see, it's for grow tents. Yeah, it's got a beefy chip clip on yeah. there. Yeah, it's not cheaply made by any means. And I had this running the whole day. Nice. Man, we got some fog dumping in on your arm. You got to talk about this now. This, as you can see... Oh, it's... check out that drip of water. You were going <laughs> to say something. I can't see it anymore. I think it fell off. But... Not by head with my finger. Okay. Anyway, it's go ahead. Tempting. Here's a PVC pipe I have in here. Now, this should be angled up a little bit more uh, because it drips a little bit on the floor. I clean it up uh, occasionally. It's not too much that it's dripping that I need to worry about it. But it should be angled up a little bit more so if it starts to condensate on the bottom, which it will, that it drips back into the humidifier. Gotcha. Let's see the other side real quick. All right. Going in. Hey, there we go. Right here. I went with a VIX humidifier. It doesn't have to be this exact one. But I thought the way it was set up worked perfectly for what I wanted to do. Now, so, you, you did a little makeshift job there. Can right. you explain it real quick? Yeah, as you can see, the, the 90, the PVC pipe. And I got this. And I put a little bit of Vaseline on the bottom as well to help create a watertight seal. That was uh, Mr. Jeff's idea, and it works awesome. And, yeah, the humidity... The humidifier is on right now, and none is leaking out of here. Beautiful. That thing works awesome. Yeah. It, it definitely supplies plenty of humidity for this size tent. This is a 4x4 four four floor dimension. All right. On to the ink bird. 
Yep, this is uh, the controller for that humidifier. Now, I, as you can see, I have it set at 92, and it's at about 86 because we have the door open right now. Good. And this yeah. ink bird is something I use in my shop often. I re also raise dermistid beetles, which are beetles uh, for taxidermy to clean off bones. And they are... I, ha I have used them in so many different areas. I also degrease skulls for taxidermy, and I use uh, ink bird for that as well. So you, you Trusted. Can, yeah, for sure. I use them in multiple things. All right, and what's this other AC Infinity gadget down here? This is uh, a four-inch inline fan, and they, and they are meant to be able to... Uh, work with a humid environment uh, a lot of people use these of course for for mushroom tents uh, the cannabis industry also uses these as well and I I know other people that just use them in their house because they're so reliable my brother he owns a HVAC company he has a, a large AC infinity uh, inline fan in his house nice all right and this exhausts Outside, I have it exhausting every 15 minutes. That's good and, to know. And it has a backdraft damper here. What's that? So, it's closed right now, but once it hits the 15 minute mark, it will open a flap, and then it will be able to blow outside, and then once it's done blowing, it will just close. To keep critters from coming in and, yep, or cold and air temperature. And... Gotcha. All right, so now I guess we're we'll diving back. No, what do we got? One more thing over here? Actually, we have two more things. This is just the timer for the light. Okay, that's, and what's the timer set for? We said 12-12, right? Yep. All right. So that's what I use for the timer. I've used this simple one uh, with multiple applications. They work great. And then I have this old guy right here, too. Oh, here we go. Aha. And let's see here. I'm just checking on something real quick. I think he's trying to follow the cable. Is that what you're right. doing? I forget what I what I <laughs> use this guy for. Okay, I use this for the lights. And then I use this guy for Is that for the inline? Oh yeah. Okay, so the second control he's running to the AC Infinity inline exhaust. And that's uh you said that was on a timer every 15, right? Yep. Yep, and that's for the light. So yeah, gotcha. AC Infinity right here for every, actually I have it to come on every, yeah, every 15 minutes right now. And then this is a 12-12. Beautiful. For the lights. All right. With the remaining minute, any last things you want to touch on about your current setup here? Uh, on the, the floor, I, I've noticed in the past... Uh, I got a little cut in this little membrane right here because there's, well, some of the tents, this one does not have it. But some of them have a clear, like it's like a, a clear film that goes over this. Now, if you cut one of the, get rip one of those and water gets underneath there, it takes a bit to, to get that water out. I mean, that would so, be a high risk contamination point, having just stagnant water sitting inside there between the layers. Absolutely. So if you can look at the tent, make sure you get one like this that does not have that that clear uh, that clear film on it because they're very flimsy too. That's good information to know. Hey, Will, I appreciate you kind of opening this up, showing us all what's going on with this. Um, shoot, let me get on the camera with you. 
Hey, I appreciate all those that came on here, watched this video with us, sticking to the end. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, now is a good time to do that. Like this video if there was even one bit of information that you didn't know before that's going to help you grow mushrooms. Hey, until next time, appreciate you guys. Peace. Peace.